What's up, everybody? I'm Jerry with uh, Talking Nerdy About Digimon, and uh, you're in for a treat today because we're going to get into some uh, some of my boy Joe and uh, Gomamon. <laughs> um, I have uh, some folks here with me that uh, they're going to be talking a little bit, but I'll probably be doing most of the talking because... James. They're like, why? I didn't introduce saying, you I yet. thought you were going to take 20 <laughs> minutes to in. get to us. Okay, ready. Introduce yourself now. I'm James. I'm Brandon. All right, and I'm Jerry. I think we already established that, though. So, how's everybody doing? It's been a really it's been a long time. It's been a really, it's been a really, long, really long time, time since we've done we it. Took some a long vacation episode, some hiatuses or yeah. something. Somebody, somebody we went actually... to Houston, and and now we're going to f- to help out with. Uh, I'm not Hurricane going anywhere. Harvey. Yeah. 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 When? Yeah. After it happened. Yeah. I didn't go anywhere. Oh. Don't backwash. <laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> I've been fine. I hadn't been in Special anything, guest but star Eleanor watching. Doors. I've been I got into my hero academia finally. Finally. James wants to be a better person at last. So, yes. Finally expanding those horizons. So now I'm hooked, just like every well, really Jerry was the one that kept saying Drew kind of. I mean, everybody's into was pushing it. it. I mean, you're you're the only person. That's the reason I didn't so, want to get into it. Yeah, just everybody's into it. Yeah, no, there's a reason why everyone's and now into I it. Why it's because it's it. good. Because <laughs> it's amazing stuff. Um, so uh, back on like Digimon, is that what this is? You know? Yeah. Oh darn. We're uh, we're supposed to be talking about this. I was um, done for my hero podcast. That, that we uh. Good. Yeah. <laughs> We we also have a special <laughs> guest with us today. Yep, special guest Eleanor Claire, James's daughter, mm-hmm. his his uh, spawn offspring, his legacy. Did you say granddaughter? <laughs> Your papa calls you granddaughter. Oh my god! If you kick the table one more time. <laughs> so our episode today is. Did we want to do? Uh, the other stuff first. Tell them where to find yeah, us. Yeah, so you want to jump in the yeah, we can, okay, yeah, we'll do that because I was I was waiting for that. Talking nerdy okay. can be found all over the place now. Right. Um, you can get this podcast on iTunes. You can get this podcast through Podbean. Mm-hmm. Um, we're talking nerdy about Digimon. You can exactly. Uh, you can find us uh, talking nerdy on Facebook at talking nerdy. Uh, email us. Any sort of questions, comments about the show, things you want to... What's the email, um, Merle? Go. Yeah, what's the email? TalkingNerdy815 at gmail.com. Bam! All right. Nailed it. He got it. And then, of course, YouTube, uh, where this podcast gets put up as well. If you want to just, like, listen to a video with just a picture... (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, but you it's can our, do that it's on our, YouTube. It's a new picture, right? It's uh, it should be the new picture by now. It better be the new picture by now. It should be. Yeah, yeah. I had we, a friend that worked really hard on that. Yeah. We it will. It should be. Yeah, a lot of effort okay. went into that. Now oh. I kind of want to put like a different picture up. Oh Why? My gosh. Just Why like a, a, a totally random a one, butthole? like a my hero one. Make people <sighs> think this. It's not that podcast yet, though. Not yet. Yeah. 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 Um. So not anyway. Yet. Our, uh, the episodes that we're covering today are going to be the Digimon Adventure episodes 7, 8, and 9. Our first one is uh, Ikakumon's Harpoon Torpedo, or Roar Ikakumon. Roar. Roar. Ikakumon. Is that how it sounds? Ikakumon. Yes. Um, Ikakumon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's I thought one. it was more growly. Igakumon. <laughs> You're coming off as like a grilled like surfer. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I guess. Igakumon. Yeah, I do kind of go like that. Is that yeah. So um, the the last thing that that the uh, the kids, the children, and their Digimon did was uh, they got out of the toy town where they ran into Monzemon, and uh, they're continuing their their journey, trying to figure things out, and. Um, the uh, the first thing we really see is a bunch of black gears flying through the woods, and uh, up until this point, like we've we've seen one, 
Yeah, and it and flew it's usually into after the fact. it flew into Infinity Mountain, right? Mm-hmm. And that's whenever it went into Marimon. Marimon. Yep. See, yes. we know that, but they don't exactly know. So it's something they're not in the know, but we are. Anyway, the kids are uh, walking through the woods, and they're kind of commenting on. Some of them are commenting on how cold it is, and the Digimon are like, "Oh, we're fine." Blah 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 blah, because they have fur and and all that stuff, and um, they they. Some of them start talking about how great it would be if it would start snowing, but Joe's trying to be the realist, and he's like, yeah, if it starts snowing, we could die of hypothermia because, you know, it's cold outside and we have no shelter. Is this the... In a, they don't... In adventure... Which which season was it where they were like... And maybe I'm just making this... Completely making this up, it's, but... Um, it was something like, in the digital world, you're not really like... That was the uh, Tamers. Is it where where you don't get hungry yeah, you or get sick hungry and stuff or, like that, or yeah. sleepy or yeah, that was in, like that. that was in Tamers. Okay, yeah, but yeah, so they they've obviously made some some changes. Yeah. I mean, the uh, every digital world is different. Originally, well, because they're the all digital world was more like the Matrix, where if you die, yeah, yeah, you'll probably die in the real world too. Um. But yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of like alternate universes and stuff because they cover that in Cross Wars, right? Like, because they bring in all the oh, other... Oh, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jedi, and they bring in all the other Digi, uh, yep. Jess, and, yeah. and stuff like that. Like The multiverse. That was, that was the probably big cool thing that came out of that series. I read that uh, some uh, theory out there now is that Atmon is like a sequel to all the seasons mm-hmm. it's the few it's obviously in the future right and so this that's where digimon is headed huh. is atmon you know yeah I don't oh, know. okay could be kind of cool yeah i Cause, mean because it doesn't fit at all into like it's it's interesting um because you know in in uh in digimon their digital world is as far as we know it's just an actual world yeah you know where everything you know looks there's forests and stuff like that and of course you have some of your like garbage that ends up there from the human world and everything um but like we've kind of seen it different over the years like um second season it was about the same you yeah, know except for with cause... the spires and yeah. stuff like that uh, third season that was tamers right tamers, yes yeah. i always get third and fourth like mixed up out of order um but yeah third season it was kind of the same, but there was a lot of chaos going on. Yeah. With like the storms and the digital fields a lot and of stuff the like that. They went were more desolate. Right. Yeah. And then, um, I mean, in four the fourth, was, in the fourth season, they had to take trains to get to each. Yeah. Each four, I think four was Eleanor. Four was more like um, the original. Because it was more like a world, you know, like yeah. where it had different like ecosystems. And, mm-hmm. Like it was kind of going back to that. It's okay. Um, kind of going back to that. And I don't remember what five. I don't remember how it was in five. Uh, which which one which one was five? Five was Save, uh, Savers. Savers. Yeah. Savers. It was about the about the same as as original. Like they had they had a world and everything like that, and they could log into it. They actually made an MMO based off of savers because you pick out of the the main uh kids i think the three main kids yeah and there are three main digimon so like one of them had an agumon and then uh i always have problems remembering the other two Galmon and, uh, and, the, and the, the well i thought there was an wasn't there like an owl there's there? an owl one yeah uh, yeah that was uh, keen so. so were there were there four main ones from that one there was later on. Yeah, the fourth okay. was added later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, you, you pick out of them, and then you go into the digital world and stuff. Later on, they made it to where you could um, you could get different skins for your Digidestin, so they look like Digidestin from the past. Ooh, nice. So anyway, like then they got to Cross Wars, and Cross Wars was about the same as uh, original Digimon. It was like a normal world type yeah. situation going on. And then, you know, we got to... Uh, well, I don't know. The second season of Cross Wars was a bit different, though, wasn't it? 
Gosh, I can't even remember I, that one. I slightly honest. remember the second season of Cross Wars being more like the t- AR field in Applemon. Are you talking about like the si- the hunter? Yeah, no, the, the, the time. Yeah, yeah, it was more like the, uh, the AR, AR field. Yeah. Right. Right. So I mean, maybe maybe they were kind of gearing up towards Applemon or something like that. Maybe yeah. maybe we have a really real like thing going on. But like I don't Almost know, like it was part of the plan. My uh, so my whole crazy. thing with the AR field is I'm I don't know I'm just not super, you're not into it. I it's cool, I I dig it, but I'm just not like as far as digital worlds go. I prefer the one from Adventure, or you know where they actually like it's a world another world that yeah, they can go yeah. to yeah and still have. And then I like the season two aspect where you can actually well, like log into it and everything. In Atmon, like once you get down to the different mm-hmm. um, islands it's sort of a yeah but they're not all like connected worlds. the servers yeah. and stuff like that i mean i guess you could uh you it's could like frost argue, it's you could, like trying to get to you don't you can't just go you you have to go through the security measures in this one you can't just like stumble into something yeah so anyway, um, we get the kids, they're talking about snow and stuff like that. Joe's like, no, that wouldn't be cool at all. We'd be screwed. Um, at that point, they, they smell um, like steam or something, and they find these hot springs. So like, oh, sweet, we can you know take a bath or something or warm up in the hot springs. And I think they drop, drop something in or they see the water's bubbling. Yeah. And it's just way too hot. Yeah. And... Uh, so they decide not to, and then I think at that point, um, TK notices a refrigerator, and uh, mm-hmm. he's like all excited because there's obviously food in the refrigerator. There's food in the fridge. And they're Wait, just like... It's a Numemon, ain't it? <laughs> no, they're just like, no, it's, um, Joe's like, don't don't go dig in someone else's fridge or whatever, and they open it up, and it just has eggs in it, oh. like a bunch, mm. a bunch of eggs. I could have sworn maybe it's later. They open a refrigerator and there's a Numemon in there and it throws a turd at them. I don't maybe know. you just dreamed it. Maybe I did. It was maybe a they were dream. thrown off and they were like, "Oh snap! That last fridge that we got to had eggs in it, and this fridge would probably have food in it too." And then it didn't. It, it yeah. But anyway, so we got eggs. So they start splitting up like what everybody's job's gonna be mm-hmm. as far as like cooking the eggs, you know, preparing them. Uh, getting firewood. Joe gets tasked with making chopsticks, which seems overly complicated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but he's da- he's up for the task. Yeah. No, he's totally making chopsticks. I mean, he's just out here in the woods just carving up some some chopsticks for everybody. And uh, then I think they start getting into a talk about how they eat their eggs and stuff. And everybody's got this like weird version of how they do eggs. Joe does his basically how I do mine. You know, I, I'm 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 honestly you're Joe, right? I'm honestly pretty sure that that's why I started doing my eggs like that. <laughs> I can't really remember um, everybody's the way everybody does their eggs. I know. Uh, I'm pretty sure Mimi had a really weird thing of how she did hers, and then of course TK because he's a little weirdo. Hey, but man. yeah, Joe is just salt and pepper. And they were like, really? That's it? And he was like, yeah, it's That's mine. salt and pepper on eggs. How it's supposed to be. Somebody Does it fry said them? smothered in ketchup? No, I don't think so. I mean... The ketchup thing makes sense because a lot of people do scramble. How do you, how do, you do your eggs, James? I just how fry. I like fried... I prefer fried eggs mm-hmm. with just salt. Any pepper. runny yolk or anything like that? Uh, I, I like it uh, over medium. You know, we did we did uh, hit IHOP yeah, we that, one IHOP that one time. I think yeah. we talked about this yep. then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like them over medium, which is... Um, a runny yolk, but not like, not like Over. super super liquid. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. still a little. See, I it's got I, some thickness to it. I usually I, do mine sunny side up, or over easy. Yeah, which is I like mine scrambled. Scrambled. See, with scrambled, people will do ketchup. Yeah, I uh, know. My but. my my sister and her dad used to do it all the time, and I was just like, that's. That's Erica strange. does it, and Erica will put like um, salsa. Well, on see, eggs don't don't get me wrong. Um, if I get like an omelet or something, 
I'll smother it in salsa. Really? Yeah. I I mean I like I like omelet as long as it's got like onions and bell peppers and sure like steak or something in it. Yeah. I will smother it in salsa. Well, that that to me is not an egg though. Scrambled salt. You know what I'm saying? Like now omelet. you've made yeah. you've made something totally. It, it, it's different. like an actual dish. Yeah. Yeah. I so I guess it would yeah. make sense to add more. But if you just want an egg. Mm-hmm. It really just needs to be a plain ass egg, you know. <laughs> just fry it up, throw right. it on a plate, put a little salt and pepper on it, and you're good to go. Yeah, I'm good with just salt and pepper, no jelly beans or whipped cream or anything. I could do. Like I'd put jelly beans on. Seriously, it. you know what I'd probably put on it? No joke though. Like uh, I'm obsessed with these, so mm-hmm. I'll probably put them just about on anything. Right. Um, but if you just crumble up some like hot Cheetos. <laughs> right dude uh no no joke though um people do that stuff now like hot cheetos is becoming a, a a thing you know what i picked up at walmart a little bit ago flaming hot fritos oh flaming hot fritos yeah dude no that is the greatest chip there is you know you guys we, have a walmart or you just stop at walmart i was about to yeah, say you guys are in the middle uh, north little rock yeah no like Let's when i went to um, California, like years back, because we stopped carrying them here, mm-hmm. like a- anywhere in Arkansas. Mm-hmm. I guess I went to California. Like they have everything, so I bought like a ton of bags. Right. Well, then I ate them all while I was there. <laughs> but so then my cousin came down like a year later. I kid you not, he brought me twenty bags <laughs> of hot Fritos. No, you remember this? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of funny. Bags of hot Fritos. Dad, well, every time Dad goes up to see Grandma. They and have Wisconsin, a is it uh, Illinois. 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 Sorry. They have a chip factory in Rockford. I forget what it's called, but every time it goes up there, Dad brings back one or two uh, five gallon drums of these potato chips. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you remember? What brand? I cannot. Is it hers? It's not hers, is it? No, it's. Uh, I'm trying to think of what's up there. It's a. Uh, it's it's plant is. In Rockford, they they're not like like really they don't spread out that much like you, Northern Illinois is about it, as far as I know. I can't f- remember what it's called <laughs> though. I love how this just became a potato chip podcast. My uh, my thing that I was gonna say though, uh, you know how Subway's got the new uh, wraps. Oh yeah, yeah, we have those now. I've uh, finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, they they had them in Chicago like back in February whenever I was yeah. there, but um, and then they we've got all these weird chips. You know, Lay's are doing their, their yeah, yeah. Chips. their well, things again. So I like to experiment occasionally at Subway when I'm working. You got that crunchy talk. One of the things <laughs> one of the things that I did was I. Uh, I did a steak wrap. I did a, uh, I did a steak wrap, right? And I put, uh, I took the crunchy uh, taco chips. Yeah. And I ground them, ground, crumbled it up, and I seasoned the meat with it. Oh, oh yeah, man. dude. I back in the day, uh, anytime I'd make a sandwich, I'd crumble chips on my sandwich and like mm-hmm. squish the bread down and everything to oh, yeah. crunch them up in there yeah and i couldn't eat a sandwich without uh some sort of potato chip on it man it's good stuff so so i can see that this this isn't crazy to mm-hmm. put crazy stuff like on your uh food but eggs just seem like it needs to be just an egg just just, just, just an egg. egg just an egg folks so anyway, um, getting back to the eggs and you still all want to stuff. talk about the eggs? <laughs> and I they, go uh, all day on eggs. And they what they uh, I guess they finish eating and it's starting to snow a little, so they're talking about having to look for uh, their shelter. I think they find a cave nearby, but at that point, um, Joe comes up and uh, and Matt and Ty are arguing about something, and uh, what they're they're arguing about climbing the mountain right yeah and uh um ty wants to climb the mountain because he wants to see you know what's around them right and if they can get anywhere and uh matt says it's too dangerous like you know we can't go up there because if we get hurt you know who's gonna help us um and joe actually kind of comes up and he's being reasonable about it and he's like kind of seeing things from both points of view he's like well we kind of do need to see this but it is really dangerous yeah and um, I think like um, on the side of caution. 
at at one point they all just decide to you know I think Sora butts in and then they kind of calm down and they decide to go to sleep for yeah. the night and uh, I also think around that they were like kind of like getting on to Joe like grilling Joe about being you know so meticulous about everything in particular and careful and everything like that and then Gomamon said something to him so he got into an argument with Gomamon <laughs> and uh I guess that night Joe decided like, oh, well, I'm the oldest. I need to be the most responsible. So I'm going to climb the mountain, which is honestly kind of not responsible if you no. think about it. But he no. did leave a note. Oh, well, there yeah, you go. He left a note. At least he was smart enough to do that. So uh, at that point, he's climbing up the mountain and uh, Goemon starts following him. And uh, he's like bugging Goemon about falling up this mountain. Goemon's just like, oh yeah, I was already on my way up here, and you're just going the same way as me. So he just um, he starts he starts following him and everything. And uh, they're uh, they're walking and uh, let's see where where are my notes at. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. You got too far ahead in your notes. Yeah, I, I totally did. Notes, notes, notes. Uh, <laughs> back, 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 back. So uh, anyway, they're both kind of exhausted climbing up this mountain, and uh, Joe kind of makes a joke. And at first, Gomon's mad, and then he realizes that Joe is joking with him, and he's like, "I didn't realize you had a sense of humor." <laughs> And uh, they're all climbing the uh, the mountain together, and when they get about halfway up, um, the mountain kind of opens in an area, and uh, you see a black gear, like some black gears come out of it. And uh, Goemon starts hearing something, and um, you see something flying towards him, and he's he's it's a uh, like a Pegasus, yeah, um, with a unicorn horn, yeah, named uh, Unimon. Was that was that your phone? Yeah. Oh my gosh, what did I tell you about phones during these meetings? So anyway, he sees uh, Unimon and he's like, oh, he's a wise old Digimon. And uh, Starts attacking her. He's, uh, <laughs> he's not much of a talker. And uh, they're just kind of watching him. And, uh, you know, because up until this point, I think every time <clears throat> a Digimon has been like, Oh yeah, they're friendly. They're you know really passive aggressive. Blah blah. blah. They're really passive and stuff. It's always attacked them. Yeah. So they're just kind of watching him, and he's like this beautiful mythical creature and everything. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden, a black gear comes and like lands on him, and uh, he uh, he all of a sudden turns evil, and because uh, it like digs into his back. So then like. And that does not look fun either no, no it looked very it painful because it just dug into yeah. his, his skin so uh at that point it's around daybreak and uh everybody's waking up and sora and sora notices that joe's gone and he left a note and uh well okay i guess she was the only one that woke up she saw the note and then she wakes everybody up to go look for him we cut back over to unimon attacking uh joe and goemon and uh you know, Unimon basically has him cornered. And, uh, at that point, Bergemon pops up and, uh, basically kind of shoots, shoots at him and, and gets him out of the way and everything. And, uh, Tai and Sora and Agumon show up and, uh, they, uh, Unimon shoots Bergemon down and she goes flying. And then, uh, Agumon goes and digivolves, but then he gets beat up and uh, buried under some rubble. And because uh, this is Ikakumon's episode, so everyone else is weak, <laughs> right? Yep. <laughs> and then uh, don't 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 do that, Merle. <laughs> yeah. All right. Don't <laughs> call you. them out. Thank you. On yes. This. Yes. That's no. That's how the show works, though. Yeah. Um, it's the showcase episode. So anyway, Unimon's going after Sora, and then Bergmon pops back up. Um, I didn't know. But uh, then Unimon knocks them, knocks them both down, and uh, Joe's like, "You know what? This is it. I'm gonna have to do this. My time to shine." So like, he leaps from this cliff face <laughs> onto Unimon's back to get this black gear. Listen, here, sir, 
It's a smart idea. I don't know if if um, Ty would have the the courage to do this. Maybe Joe should have got you know. No, this was respons- <laughs> This was responsible oh, and was reliable. <laughs> reliable. And he was just you know being reliable old Joe, jumping on the back of a raging unicorn. off of a With cliff wings. face. So My, uh, yeah. so anyway, he's like trying to get this this black gear off of him. It's not working, and I think at that point he bucks him off. And yeah. Joe's like falling, and oh, at falling. that point. His digivice, his digivice lights up, and uh, Gomamon evolves into uh, a Kakumon, which is a giant walrus-like creature, with a uh, with a, with a big horn. Old horn on top of his head. Yep, the I guess horn that's... on top of his head, and he catches Joe, and headbutts Unimon, and uh, they're kind of getting into it. And then he fires a uh, harpoon, harpoon torpedo. torpedo. Harpoon torpedo, See, that which is pretty good. great because he's got some kind of crazy mechanism but, that shoots his harpoons at people and they regrow. And yeah, they, they regrow. It should have come back. Mm. It should come back. You know? No, it just grows back. Harpoon torpedo, and then he like has like a rope that's connected, and then it like sh- slings back into that's his not skull. How torpedo works, James. Yeah, harpoon though. Yeah. Harpoon, but harpoon not harpoon can have not a rope torpedo. on it. That's why. Uh, that's why. Whenever it fires, the and then horn it part breaks, breaks apart. Off. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know how a torpedo. torpedo works. Yeah, it's just I'm a just harpoon saying. because of the point on it. How does the horn grow back? It doesn't matter. He's magic. got an endless supply in his head. Okay. Um, it's magic. You know, it'd be real cool if, like, he could only use it, like, or he he could use it anytime he wanted. But he only wanted to use it every once in a while because it gave him a bad headache because he had to regrow the horn every time he did it. Are you talking it. about like Wolverine every time he Yeah, kind of like Wolverine, you know? It hurts every it time hurts. he uses it. Did you just compare the Pokemon to that Wolverine? That would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've gotten to that point in our lives. Um, so anyway, the Kakamon finally blasts the, uh, the gear on Unimon's back. And Unimon's free and he gets away. So I guess at that point, Joe's like, dude, these black ears are coming from the mountain. Yeah. And they're basically infecting these good Digimon. The first hints of the plot. So uh, <laughs> the uh, the trio with their Digimon decide to finish climbing the mountain. Uh, they actually find out that the uh, the island's pretty small. Like, it's not that, that big yeah. of an island. And they've basically been walking around all over it. In and uh, it just kind of island. ends with, like... Um, I guess the sunrise, right? And yeah, they that's, that's just where the yeah. episode leads off. Um, then we're going to be cutting into episode eight. Now, so, what you guys think about you, that? Well, episode? I was about to say, as I mean, as a, I thought it was a fine episode. It was you know? a fine episode, yeah. yeah. But as a lover of Joe, we're seven we're seven episodes in now, right? Right. You're a you're a fan of Joe. Is this was this a good episode for you? Oh yeah, you uh, definitely get to see some characterization because I feel like you know if you go back, like the the Agumon one, mm-hmm. like not great. Yeah, with Greymon. You know, with Greymon. Yeah. Now the Garumon one I thought was good. Yeah, because you, know? you you got to see more of Matt Matt and, and TK's, TK's relationship. relationship. Yeah, exactly. And, and then yeah. Um, even the Bergeron one, I thought was a lot of ties <coughs> development doesn't happen in the early yeah. episodes. Um, we won't Wilson really get Eleanor. Big. If Merle can't cough into the microphone, neither can you. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, but at, yeah, so so as a fan of Joe, this was a good episode for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we kind of got to see those early characteristics of him being a reliable person. Yeah. And putting his neck out there for his friends and everything. Reliable and, uh, meaning, um, yeah, I'm going to f- kind of stupidly go up the mountain by myself, but I left you a note. Right, right. You know, I'm yeah. reliable. Bad word. My bad. I said the S word. Who? What? The S word. S-T-U-P-I-D. Oh. Yeah, that's a bad word. Really? Shame. Yes, that's a bad word, Merle. But no, yeah, it was a good episode, though. That's dumb. It was one of the better... Um, of the hey, champion 
Yeah. Evolution episode. I, I think uh, that was oh, no. that was this, that was basically our last one for now. For yeah, for the, a few uh, more episodes. The, yeah. The only uh, the only one we have left is Patamon, and who knows when he's gonna evolve? He'll you know, probably man. turn into a giant pig monster or something. No, surely not surely, a surely, surely not a god angel thing. <laughs> surely anybody that's listening to this knows. Maybe not. You think? Maybe you think not. That there's somebody listening, particularly that's been listening living to under a, a rock for the podcast past twenty years. Well, maybe Digimon. they maybe they just jumped on to Atmon, yeah. and they were like, "I sh- this is season I just like seven or something." I just wish Atmon was like? more available, so it was easier to yeah. uh, to yeah. watch. Why is it not on Crunchyroll? Don't you have friends that work for Crunchyroll? <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Call them should I, and should find I... out why it's not on Crunchyroll. But Adventure Try is. I think, like... Everything. Everything's on there except, except for... Savers. Savers is not on Crunchyroll either. Um, yeah. So, let's go to episode 8, which is uh, Evil Shows His Face or Devimon, The Emissary of Darkness... Or Yami no Shisha Debimon. Debimon? Debimon. Debimon? Debimon? Yami no Shisha Debimon? <laughs> you, gotta put, like, you gotta put some like uh, like higher pitch. The gumption. Because, you gotta you put know. some gumption into it. Anyway, now, like... we're, now we're into the plot. So um, now we're gonna round out the story. The rest of the group's making it up to the mountain. And they all realize they're stuck on a freaking island. Then we cut over to this really badass looking lion One character. of the coolest, like, no joke. Still to this he's day. He's okay. He's got all, pants and, no, like, no. rippling abs Still and stuff. To he's not wearing a shirt. Day. He can wear a shirt. Okay. To this day, y'all, of all the hundreds of Digimon we've met, still one of the coolest Digimon out there. Spoiler, he dies. Why would you do that? I haven't even seen these episodes. <laughs> you know how I feel about spoilers. So anyway, um, his name's Leomon. It's Leomon, heroic beast Digimon. He is a humanoid lion yes. person, and he's got rippling abs, and he wears pants. Yes, and he has a he has a really cool straight sword, sword on his that's back, on his back dude. and so his back waist. Yeah. Um. So then all of a sudden he gets attacked by this other. Really crazy looking Digimon, who is an ogre. He's his ogre. name's Ogremon. Yeah, and he's got a bone club. Original. And he's got that really like crazy like protruding jaw, that mouth like Violator. Pretty... You know, if you yeah, know Spawn, yeah, kind of like yeah. he looks like Violator. He's got some like long white hair and yeah. stuff like that. You... Yeah. Um. So anyway, Swallow they're thing. they're all fighting and everything, and uh, Leo Mun's talking about like. Wanting to get rid of the uh, the black gears, um, then they hear a voice and it's it's telling both of them to fight for him. Um, they're both like, "No, screw that!" Like you know, we fight against each other for each other, you know, or for ourselves. ourselves yeah. yeah, yeah. For they fight against each other for each other. Yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden, a new Digimon, not a new one, pops up because we haven't seen him yet. And he ends up being Devimon. And Devimon. he looks evil. Is he? He's wrapped in black leather. So all of a sudden you know that he's a BA, right? <laughs> yeah. I didn't I didn't I didn't want to say the he's words because like there's a child in the room. Yeah. But you know what BA means? Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, he's a got butler's the butler's assistant. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. The yes. best butler's assistant yes. you could ask for. He's got like fangs, like mm-hmm. fangy things. He's got these really long, creepy arms, the claws, um, and he's really pale looking. His arms like go all the way down <clears throat> his legs. Yeah, they're they're almost too. <laughs> he could he yeah. could literally scratch his ankles without bending over at all. <laughs> <laughs> he just stands straight up and scratches his ankles. But he's he's got wings and he's just totally creepy looking. But he calls the kids the Digi Destined. It's the first time we heard that, and yes. that's the first time we've heard yeah. that. And so that's a that's a key word phrase. That- Hashtag that, DigiDustin. Um, That's a word that will go down in the history bur- books. History Burks. History Burks. History Burks. <laughs> um, so anyway, Leo, Leo Mon attacks him, um, but then he disappears, and then they get into this thing, 
and he comes out of the ground and hits Leoman with the touch of evil. Feel the touch of evil. The touch of evil. Um, it's with and it's, it's a hand. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. his hand. Like yeah. he just it's touches solid- him, it's essentially. For some, well, evil it's dark some- energy. So anyway, um, he does this this thing to Leoman and puts him under his control. Uh, and uh, it's basically, you know, it, it's like a black makes ear. Me, only. Makes Leoman listen to his every command. Yeah. Turns him evil. We uh, we then go back to uh, the Digidestin, as we will refer to them from this this. Like, for sure, henceforth. we've been referring to them. Yeah, probably shut up. No, while. no, that starts right now. Um, Ty is drawing a map of the island, and it. Looks like crap. Oh, come on. It looks like crap. He's an athlete. He's not an artist. <laughs> so uh, then they see Leomon, and of course I'm sure somebody said like, oh, that's Leomon. He's a great Digimon. He's he's the coolest guy ever. And then he attacks them. Yeah. Um, and then they start to run, and then they get cut off by Ogremon. And then uh, they get cornered, and all of their Digimon, except for Patamon, of course, Digivolve. And Devimon's like watching above. Let me ask you all this. What's up? What's up? Do you remember at all watching this like originally? Vaguely. Sort of. Did you, what did you think at this point when everybody had evolved but Patamon still wasn't evolving? Did you think it was going to be? I didn't think he was ever going to evolve. Yeah. I thought he was just going to be like the mascot Digimon. I think that's what I was thinking too. Like he's going to stay. He's the Pikachu. Forever. Yeah. Hey, hey, watch me. I like Pikachu. Um. Anyway, so anyone ever everybody uses ends up using up too much of their energy during this fight, and they go back to rookie. Um, like I don't, I don't remember exactly how this happens. <laughs> oh my god! But the bad guys disappear, and uh, they uh, they drive them away, right? Yeah, but I mean, after they drive him away, the yeah. Digimon goes back into Rookie. Yeah. Um, they get back to the forest, and they're talking about their Digimon getting stronger because they can stay in that form longer now. Yeah, and they can just do it now. Yeah, they don't have to uh, have be in life-threatening situations. Yeah. Um, and then at that point, I think they all notice a mansion in the distance, and there's nobody really there. It's just this cool-ass-looking mansion, and... Uh, they are, uh, they're walking through it, and TK notices a picture of an angel, and he's like, oh, it's an angel, and I think at that point, Patamon's... Some, uh, freaking foreshadowing, <laughs> dude. I think at that point, uh, uh, TK, or Patamon's, like, looking at him, like, oh, it's an angel, blah, 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 you know? He's, like, Anakin. And are you an me. angel? Oh, my God. Are you an angel? Oh. Did you just really bring up episode one? <laughs> um. We don't talk about Rimstone that here. Listen, that was the last podcast we did together. <laughs> um, the, uh, the Digimon all start sniffing around and they smell food and there's like a, uh, a full spread on the table and some of them are a little hesitant at, at getting in, but they end up all eating anyway. Um, then they go take a bath. Gabumon doesn't want to join in cause he's got his fur and he yeah, ruined his fur, fur off, and he's not down with that. Um, and they're all like, he's like the fat kid that doesn't up. want to take his shirt they off ate. when they go to the swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> So he just swims That's in. rude. I'm just saying. Friend. I'm just saying. Friendo. So anyway, you know, they're they're full, they're clean, and now next step is bed. Go to time, bed. Man. Go to sleep. Now so they find a room full of beds. So uh, they go to sleep and Isn't then, it amazing that everything they need is in that mansion, like ready yes. to go? Yeah, it works out so well. So it's well almost too good that to all true. of a sudden Devimon comes out of the angel pit- pitcher and you find out that it was all a tri- trick by him and Ogremon. Yep. So then they start hearing somebody, so they hide, and Ty and Agumon are walking through the mansion. And Ty's like, oh, you didn't have to walk with me, Agumon. You know, I could go to the bathroom by myself. And then you find out that basically Agumon needed to go to the bathroom too. Yeah. And uh, so they're kind of like, they're they're sitting in the bathroom and Agumon's in one of the stalls, and they're starting to talk about Ogremon, and then you see in the other, the stall next to his is Ogremon, <laughs> and he's kind of laughing. And then uh, I think at that point, Agumon says something about Ogremon and how he's like smells or something like that. 
And then Ogremon just destroys the freaking stalls, and he's just like there. And uh, it's like the troll in Harry Potter. I mean, he's an ogre. He's not a troll, first of all. Um, troll in the dungeon. <laughs> so uh, at that know. point, they're running. Leomon quarters them. Debimon shows up. Um, he makes the entire building vanish, um, and then he lifts, he uses his magic and all the beds with all the children and Digimon start floating around in the air. The island also starts to detach. The, and the, uh, the island starts splitting into pieces. You see all these gears turning, and the island's just going all in separate directions, just splitting apart. And uh, he's, uh, he's doing all this stuff, spinning all these beds, uh, Ty goes to try to get Agumon to uh, digivolve uh, to, to protect everybody and everything, but all of a sudden he can't because he doesn't have any energy mm-hmm. because the food they ate was fake. Because he pooped it all out. Well, he didn't poop it all out because there's nothing to poop out because it wasn't even food. <laughs> so Man, was he, doing he didn't have bathroom? any nourishment. His, doing his stomach probably hurt because he hasn't eaten. Um, you know, you have those... those uh, I don't want to say. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> I think Leomon's creeping up on Ty, and Ty falls over, and his Digivice falls down and hits Leomon and breaks the uh, the spell that Devimon put on him. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Leomon goes and he uh, he attacks Devimon, making it to where instead of uh, slamming the kids into the ground or throwing them off the cliff or whatever, they instead fly off to these separate islands. They split the party. I don't know if you guys ever played D and D before, but you're yeah. not supposed to split the party. No. But I guess they didn't really have a choice in this matter, so yeah. the party gets split. In um, um, more character development. In horror movies, oh, everybody yeah. likes to split up, and, and it's always and and it's always um, bad. So anyway, uh, Leomon saves Ty and Agumon, and uh, he uh, he sends them kind of off. You know, and they land on an island. And then you hear Leomon get attacked. Feel the touch of evil! <laughs> and then um, after that, we see Devimon is in control of Leomon again. And that's kind of where we leave our episode. Yep. So, what did you guys think of that? That was, was a great, a, yeah. was a great episode. You could rename that episode, she just got real. Yeah, because uh, we almost had some fatalities. Fatality. In the show. Flawless. Like some children victory. almost died. Guys. Like for real, for real. We got, we got demons running around yeah. now. Yeah. So we saw some really powerful Digimon. All uh, champion type or adult type. Yep. The way you want to look at it. Uh, Devimon, Ogremon are virus type. And Leomon's a Probably vaccine. Vaccine, vaccine yeah. or data. Sounds right. Um, but yeah, we got some really, really powerful dudes. So now we get to one of my other favorite early episodes because I love the Digimon in this so <laughs> much. He's one of my favorites. Mojimon. All-time favorites. No. And it's I was really sad whenever I found out that he wasn't in the new Digimon World game. Next Order. Like I was probably so sad when I found that out that I just stopped playing it all together because I haven't, I haven't picked it back up since. You know what? It sucks because I have a PS4 now, but I can't play it because... Whenever I was playing it, my roommate had downloaded it onto his PS4. You should be able to share, though. Log into his account on your PS4. Um, does that still work? That should still work. Still work? Yeah. I might do that. So anyway, on to the next episode. Episode 9. Sub-Zero Ice Punch! <laughs> or, James, or... Clash the Freezing Digimon! Listen, I'm excited about this episode. Uh, I love, like, out of all the elements... I would say that ice and electricity are probably my favorite. Okay. Heart. What? Is this Captain Planet? No, this is not Captain <laughs> Planet. Oh. These are. I'm talking about elements. Heart oh. is not a freaking An element. element. <laughs> what? Did you ever watch the? Um... Go Planet. Oh man. Captain Planet and the Planeteers. No, 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 I I know. Yeah, the show. But did you ever watch Don Cheadle's Captain Planet? Oh, we we have some. Okay, good. Did you yes. watch all the parts to it, though? No. Oh, they made, like, five parts. No, it was I, no. way overdone, but it was great. Uh, <laughs> tree, 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 tree. No, no. If everyone's so a tree, <laughs> that was, then nobody that was will pollute. So anyway, my boy that has a Sub-Zero ice punch Gekitotsu. Rito. 
Digimon. Burrito? Burrito Digimon. That's yes. the that's the title. Geeky Totsu. Are you done yet? Burrito de Digimon. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna say right now, Max, you don't, you don't speak Japanese. That I don't, you don't exactly know reading. what was going on whenever I wrote the notes for this, but I can barely read my handwriting. You're probably drunk. So Ty and Agumon. We see Devimon in a castle, and he sends out black gears. Uh, Ty Basically. and Agumon crash on an ice island. Mm-hmm. Uh, Let me see if I can read. No, no, I got it. I got it now. We're good. We're good. Um, <laughs> so Ty still being in his PJs. Um, it's goes and he finds they start finding his clothes and they're frozen solid like flat like solid so like Agumon's like hey I bet I can help with this fire, so he uses want. pepper pepper breath right and he uh, you Pops know a little too well gets the uh, he gets the shirt the shirt's good Ty puts the shirt on he's like hey how about how about the pants mm. and they light on fire and he's like oh crap no too much too much so they get the pants off he puts his pants on um, then they see mailboxes, and they're like, oh, mailboxes. All right, whatever. This is not the weirdest thing we've seen here. And then all of a sudden, out of the snowy depths, we get this giant snowman that is like a bear almost. But he's really freaking cool looking. I love him. Like, his head's the shape of a bear. And then he's got, like, these two big, like, coal-like eyes. And then he's got these 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 red buttons going down his chest. And he's got, like... He's a real big dude. Got got arms and legs and everything, and uh, he's like coming at him, and uh, they all, all of a sudden see the black gear in his back, and like they are barely dodging this guy. He he swings a it says Sub Zero Ice Punch, hits a mailbox, freezes it solid. James, did you hear me? Solid, frozen, been solid. What better? What if they separated the Digimon and Digitestin? Yeah, I mean. That's what like, they didn't try. Yeah. Of, which do we have a new try yet? Not yet. Man, I think it's soon though. It's taken so long. Um, so anyway, he uh, he basically corners them in an area. Um, they're talking about throwing Agumon at him or something, and uh, he finally they finally get it. They roll underneath his legs or something and get get past him. And then Ty's like, "Hey, roll up into a ball," and Agumon's like, "This." And then uh, Ty literally kicks him, which I don't understand if you could barely pick him up. <laughs> How the heck can you kick him that far? He's a soccer player. Whatever. Um, so anyway, Agumon lands on his back, on Frigimon's back, shoots the black gear. Frigimon snaps out of it. He is a really nice, friendly guy. If I had to explain him like anybody, I would say, um, oh man, what was the name? John Candy. Yeah? Yeah. That's a name. Mixed with... Um, uh, what was the kid or the guy that did Life with Louie? Louie Anderson? Louie Anderson. <laughs> He's like those two combined. Wow. Yes. I don't know how I came up with that, but that's what I'm sticking with. I really wish he had Louie Anderson voicing him, though. God, that would be great. Because he has a for great For the longest time, for some reason, you know, as a kid, I thought that it was John Candy that, that voiced him. And I was like, oh, that's that one guy, that one <laughs> big guy. And, I, and then I started thinking, like, if I had to cast him, how would that be John it? Candy? Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, I think Ty mentioned something about like, um, have you seen any other kids or something like that? And Frigimon, uh, he saw another one on another island and he sees like, he shows him the island and it's way across on the other side of the, uh, the ocean. And they're like, what the heck are we supposed to do? You know? And, uh, Frigimon just like, Oh, stand back. And he starts sub zero ice punching the ocean. To freeze it to make a bridge to this other island. So, pretty cool stuff there. Fridgemon, awesome Sub Zero Ice Fist. This is the punch. F- first fist punch. Time a they've Digimon. Been helped by a Digimon. Yeah, right? this is the first time a Digimon. Besides, like the little Yokomon or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I think this is the first time a Digimon's. For, like, they become friends with him. Yep. Especially after, like. Being, being redeemed yeah. so i guess then we pop up which we can only presume is on this island that they are headed to and we see uh matt and, and gobamon and it's like freaking snowing its ass off like blizzard type storm going on and their matt is looking for tk like he is frantically trying to find his younger brother in this storm after he saw you know their beds all flying all over the place 
And Gabumon's trying to urge him not to continue on with this. Like, dude, we got to get inside. We, we got to get some shelter. shelter. And then Matt faints. So uh, Gabumon gets him into a cave. Takes his fur and he, off. And he makes a fire. We aren't there yet. Matt's coughing. And uh, Gabumon said he's going to go look for TK. Then takes his fur off. So then we cut over to Tai and Frigimon and Agumon. And uh, uh, they're talking about how tired they are from walking this whole distance. And then Frigimon just kind of picks him up and he's like, here, just right on my shoulders. Because he's an awesome Digimon like that. Um, then we cut back over. Um, and apparently Matt went back outside the freaking cave to look for TK. Because Gabumon finds him He's in the early him, like, stages of hypothermia. So, Gabumon gets him back in the cave, puts him by the fire, and takes his fur off. And we never really get to see him with his no. fur off. We just kind of see a silhouette of him. Yeah. So then, like, the next day... It's got to look really weird, though. Yeah, I've seen people do renditions of it, and it looks really weird. Um, so then we cut to the next day, and we, we see uh, that Tai and Frigimon and Agumon have made it to the island. And they're kind of hiking through the woods, and they see Matt's bed. Um, Matt wakes up, and... Uh, Gabumon snatches his fur from him real quick Ooh. and they start hearing Ty and uh, so they run to him and they meet up with him. Gabumon, Gabumon has a cold now. Yeah, Gabumon's a little sniffly. Yeah. So uh, Frigimon tells him, you know, that like they all meet up. Frigimon tells him that he hasn't seen anyone else and uh, Frigimon sees that Gabumon has a cold so he's like, oh hey, I'll be right back. So then... Ty and Matt are talking, and I think Matt's being a little, um, I don't know. He's being one-track minded. Yeah, he's he he's saying that like you know we have to find TK. Nothing else matters. All this stuff and Matt or uh, he's not uh, looking. Ty at the Ty picture. is just basically like, listen, everybody's lost. We have to find our bearings first and figure out what the heck we're doing. So um, they kind of get into a scuffle, <laughs> and. Uh, don't Matt storms off, Ty chases after him, they kind of punch it out for a little bit, and uh, almost fall off a cliff, like they're barely hanging on, and then all of a sudden they get attacked by a Digimon, which is Mojimon, and he is essentially an abominable snowman type Digimon, he's just a round ball of fur with uh, arms and legs, and you see like his little, little bear feetsies and his hands sticking out, and... Um, he, uh, he ends up making them fall off the cliff, but they end up falling right on top of Frigimon. And uh, I think at that point, Mojimon uh, jumps down to attack. And uh, you find out that the whole reason Frigimon was going, uh, like walking around, was so that he could gather herbs and medicines to help uh, Gabumon's cold and everything. So then Mojimon attacks, Frigimon's defending, and they're fighting. Agumon digivolves, and then so does uh, Gabumon. Um, and uh, Frigimon's uh, holding uh, holding Mojimon. Greymon shoots, and uh, let's see, Greymon shoots. Uh, Agumon or Greymon shoots the Black Gear, um, slamming Mojimon and Frigimon into the mountain that's right behind him where the cliff was, and. Some of the mountain starts breaking away, and you see all these black gears in this mountain, and they're turning, so you know that they're the things that are moving the yeah, mountain the at island. this point. Yeah. Um, so then Garuman's like, "I got an idea," so he just shoots them, <laughs> and when he shoots them, like as luck would have it, they start moving the other way and, and moving back towards Infinity, Infinity mountain, mountain, which we find out, you know, Infinity Mountain, and uh, then all of a sudden, like. We see uh, Frigimon and Mojimon are all palling around because yeah, they're man. buddies, they're, and they're... and it's kind of funny this like I noted the size difference because Mojimon's like super like yeah. small, and you know what? I think he was actually bigger when he had a black in gear the fight, in fight. Yeah, yeah. The... And then whenever he got the black gear out, he shrunk him down. Yeah, because so we'll see that. On his, yeah, Mojimon's on his yeah, Mojimon's. We'll Frigimon's see that shoulder. later with uh, Leo. So we kind of uh, we kind of leave off, like... and they're headed back to this. Uh, Back to the main yeah. island and everything, and yeah, so we've got some, we've got some. So you love that episode? Yeah, yes. I mean, I, I love Frigimon. Frigimon was was one of my one of my favorite originals. Yeah, that's a cool episode. Yeah, he's a. I I feel like 
if I was a Digidestin, you know, and I didn't want like a particular like special little Digimon, you know, that turned into something crazy or anything, I would have a Frigimon because I love Frigimon. What's Frigimon's Frigi? What would Frigimon turn into? I wonder. You Frigimon know, actually, actually already champion. Ain't he? He's a champion. I don't. He's I don't champion. know what else he uh, he turns into. Honestly, I can't remember off the top of my head. Now you got some curious. So we have 10, 11, and twelve coming up. Um, ten being a clue from the Digi Past. Right. Eleven is the dancing Digimon. Yep. And twelve is Digi Baby Boom. Digi Baby Boom. Uh, the we're going or, back to the fifties. We got number ten is Kentarumon, the protector. Eleven is the dancing ghost Bakemon, and Digi Baby Boom is Adventure Patamon and I. So we're gonna get a TK episode. TK Whoa. episode is um, Patamon gonna digivolve? I wonder. Frigimon's no. ultimate form, which is actually pretty cool. It's uh, Pandamon. Hmm. You seen? You ever seen Pandamon? You know what a Pandamon looks like. I know what a panda looks like. Yeah, I know what a panda, panda. Pandamon looks Duh. like. He's got a red scarf. Does he got a mega? He almost he almost looks like oh, that's cool. a uh, more badass version Monzimon. of uh, Monzimon. Yeah, that's what I was getting because of that. And then his uh, his next form is actually Boncho Leomon or uh, yeah, Boncho Leomon. Hmm. I think kind which of is like, you know, a radical departure from bad badass delinquent um, Leomon. <laughs> that's the Leomon where his dad left when he was young and he um, showing out so he went the, the what bad was this, crowd. What was this from? You know, this is what I'm telling. I know this. Oh, is for, okay. this is a fact. That's his fan <laughs> fiction. Leomon, yeah. Leo, regular Leomon is from a um, a good family. You know. Okay. Both parents stayed together. Right. And um, what about Grapple Leomon? Um, he's is that the one? Is that the with the spinny gears on his wrists? He's adopted. I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to think. <laughs> What's there's a uh, Saber Leomon as well. You know. You know who else I would. I would like to have as a partner. Um, that I love how all of his forms actually make sense. Uh, Hagurimon. Oh, the, the gear. The gears. Yeah, because yeah. then it goes. That's like, the first one I got on Next H- Order. Hagurimon. Or not Next Order. Was it um, Gardramon after that? Yeah, Gardramon, and, and then, then Andromon. Andromon. And then Andromon goes into like what Justimon or. Or no. See, they get crazy like on the Vegas mm-hmm. um, because I always go with the show as canon, mm-hmm. and Whoosh. Justimon is obviously Cyberdramon's yeah mega right. And the only way you get that is by bio merging. Man, <laughs> bio merge. So did you believe? I was I was doing uh, whenever I was doing Digimon World like every day. One of the things that I was trying to get from one of mine was uh, they had a, um, a gold Gardramon. Hmm. And I somehow got him, right? Like, so happy, so proud. And I don't know what happened, but I went to collect all of my, uh, my daily stuff from everybody, all the food and yeah. everything. And while I was in the middle of that, he transformed again. And I was, I was a little disappointed because I was really happy with this. To a uh, gold to... Andromon? No. I, I can't remember what he turned into after that, but I was, I was a little sad because it was so hard to get that, that yeah. gold guard drum on. Yeah. All right. Well, that was um, that was our you know show today. Digimon Adventure recap episode. Yeah. Of nine, ten, no, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> you just yeah. had the episode. <laughs> uh. So yeah, we're gonna do ten, eleven, and twelve next. Um, we could promise when that's gonna happen. No, but we uh, probably shouldn't. No, we get our schedules are too crazy. They There's really, no telling when we really, can really is when we can get together, but we try. But you know, you can always either go back and catch up, like, um, just go catch up on the old stuff. You know, the old Atmon stuff or. Listen to our watching nerdy, where we um, we sit down and we will watch a movie that one of us has picked, and then we um, we talk about how much we we'll love it or know, hate it. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, Most of the time, everybody likes it more when they find a movie that they can completely rip on. Well, let's see. We've done um, the four Alien movies all in one big um, episode. And everybody was pretty... Pretty much enjoyed. Did people do the, notes for that, or did they just go off memory? No, we just did all, We did it right off really? memory, which we tried to um, record directly after watching the movie. Yeah. So um, I think we watched like one, two, and we three. Just edit them all together afterwards, and then no, we just did them all at one time. Oh yeah. dang! Yeah. Which was still was day. not as long as um, no, not watching. I'm sorry. We just we watched like one. And then we came back like a week later and watched two. Came back a week later and we did three. Yeah. And then we watched four. And then after we watched four, we sat down and, and recorded, recorded one uh, yeah. one big episode. Gotcha. Which still was not as big as our fanboys which is hilarious. episode. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how wordy the other guys were with your alien stuff, but uh, I can uh, I can talk all day about. I think just it was about just. It was, was you, me, me, you, Kevin, Kevin, and and uh, Tommy. Oh yeah, Tommy. Yeah, I don't know if you know Tommy. Well, he was. I think he was over was at Kevin's over whenever we were doing fanboys, and, and we I think also, he stayed for the movie and then left for the podcast. We got crazy off. We got we go off on crazy tangents sometimes yeah. with those watching nerdies, but like that's the reason we were trying I know to figure Tommy out. Was there? I, I I still laugh over um, Kevin's whole thing about Job of the Hut. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that like still we, kills me. I tell people about that daily. <laughs> like, yeah, there's this dude that I was podcasting with, and he said that, you know, he can't sleep at night knowing this about Job of the Hood. <laughs> we, um, we were trying to figure out when one of the Alien movies released, and it was 86, which Kevin and I are both born in 86. Mm-hmm. So then we were like... Um, what else came out in 86, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then we looked at movies. Picking, you start picking movies of and when And then we the were like, were well, born. what else happened yeah. in 86? And so uh, we, we went around the table. Because gotcha. all of, besides me and Kevin, the other two are born in different years. So mm-hmm. we were just going through and seeing what was actually, like. Actually, I, I actually have this thing that I like to do on my birthday. And I'll watch a movie from the year I came out, right? And um, I, there, was, there was three that I had total. But for some reason, only two come to mind. And now I usually only watch one of them. I didn't watch either one of them this year. I feel awful about it. But <laughs> it was, uh, for the longest time, it's Killer Clowns from Outer Space. came out in 88. And he it's hates Killer Clowns. freaking tastic Cotton candy, cocoons, mm. and all that. I'm pretty the, sure that Kevin's going to make us watch that for watching Nerdy one of these days. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, the other movie, which I think that we should totally do a watching Nerdy on sometime, that I freaking Let me try love. to guess. 88? Yeah. You're not... I don't think you're going to you guess it. I don't think I'd ever guess it. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Then. Um, they Live. Ooh, yeah. I love that movie, dude. Right? right. I really like yeah. that movie. That, uh, that like, 15-minute long fight scene... I didn't realize that was 88, though. I thought it was, like, earlier. Mm -hmm. It's, uh... And I think it's actually closer to my birthday. I think the movie that came out on my birthday, or the week of, was, um, Young Guns. Young Guns! That's a great flick, too, dude. So... I need to I need to get down and watch those because it's been a minute since I've watched. I haven't seen They Live in a long time. We need to watch it. I remember watching that when I was a kid. Let's just do it right now. Do you have it? No. It was, hey, you know what? Remember that drive that I let you borrow? It was on that, that you never freaking even plugged into your computer. Yeah. Yeah, James. Look at me like that. Why are you still Go bringing ahead. that up? Why am I still bringing Because you, you didn't Was even... there any My Hero on there? Uh, no, because anime hadn't come out whenever I gave it to you. You know, all those years ago. That was probably like three months ago. <laughs> no, it was... <laughs> it's long maybe five that. months. It, it was at least... Because we started this in... Probably around May is what I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah, so that's only four months ago. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Feels like eight. Uh, then probably April or March. Then that was only five, six, <laughs> five, months ago. six months ago. <laughs> We're getting further. Uh, but yeah, no, watching Nerdy was fun. Like we we did. Um, Fanboys hasn't released yet, but we do have it recorded. And but we did Mortal Kombat one and Mortal Kombat Annihilation, and. I went back and listened one morning when I was working um, to the Mortal Kombat Annihilation one. Mm-hmm. It is so funny, dude. Yeah. Like, we, we just... The movie was not... It's not a good movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so Annihilation is, we is have a to, garbage fire. We had to talk about other stuff, you know, because mm-hmm. we probably talked about Annihilation for 
I don't know. The, the episode's only like 30 minutes. something minutes long. Mm-hmm. And Baby we probably comments. talked like, you know, 10, 15 minutes of that. And the rest was just nonsense. <laughs> Let's see, y'all went off on the custard concrete. Yeah, we, we tried to review Sonic's uh, <laughs> custard concrete because I happened to be eating one. What, um, there was, holy crap. Oh, we, uh, we looked it up earlier today because we were watching Hellboy at work, right? Ooh, that's a good movie. Yeah, um, and the first one, and we were talking about the uh, the, the dude with the uh, the tonfa, the bladed tonfas, and yeah. I was like, I wonder if that's Ray Park, you know, Darth Maul Ooh, and all these other people. I don't think it is. It, so. it wasn't. It didn't end up being. But upon looking at Ray Park on IMDb, I want to say we found out that he was in one of the Mortal Kombat movies. I'm pretty sure that, that they saw that. And and I can't remember who the character was. You sure it wasn't Legacy? You know, it, it might have been Legacy. Because I could see him doing something for Legacy. Because I feel like I IMDB'd both Mortal Kombat's when we were watching them. Yeah, because we were talking about Cause the there's, actors. Because there's all, always these actors that you can be like, oh yeah, he was in this, but like, you he can't was, name he was, him. He was also Snake Eyes. He was. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. It was the uh, because he was Aaron Black. I don't. I didn't even watch that one then. In Le- Legacy. Uh, yeah. Oh, dude, it's good, man. Well, I have it on I Blu-ray because I don't remember Aaron Black being. Um, holy crap, Aaron Black! That was the uh, the Wild West gunslinger. On... I freaking love Aaron. Black. I got it on Blu-ray, man. Yeah, that's that's my jam, dude. Now was that the? He was in Heroes. Who is he in? Ray Park was in Heroes. Yeah, uh, Edgar. Do you remember? I can't remember that. Neither do I. So it's been strange. so long since yeah. I watched Heroes, yeah. and that just went like downhill pretty quick. Yeah, since after the first episode. No, 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 not that quick. Season one was no, no, good. no. He wasn't. He wasn't Mortal Kombat. Uh, Annihilation, Raptor number three. Raptor number three. Yep. <laughs> That's what it says. He's probably the only person from that movie that did something with their life after that. Um, what about, Are we still recording? what about Raiden? Yeah. Oh. Well, Raiden, I mean, that dude was in stuff. Oh, yeah, he was in. He's still in um, stuff, because we went in our whole thing trying to figure out who he's that in, was. He's in Sleepy Hollow. Ray Park? It doesn't say what he did in Un- Sleepy Hollow. Just uncredited? But it just says, it says stunts. It's under stunts. Um. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, he, Park's he's, cool. he's noted as an actor as Raptor number three in uh, Mortal Kombat. Is that like his first like thing that he was credited uh, no. as an actor? Krang under Dead Mule. Something. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle no, Krang? No, not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Krang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm actually about to bring You're about to get design. mold, boy. <laughs> I am super, super curious as to X-Men Toad. Yeah, Toad. That's probably uh, when I first saw him. Oh, he well, was he was Baraka number two, and Raptor number three in Annihilation. So I guess that Baraka number two. Well, remember remember whenever she was stuck in the cage and the the Barakas were coming down, or was that in the first movie? I thought it was a well, just one Baraka though. Was it multiple Barakas? That was in number two. Dead Mule Suitcase. Have you? I've never even heard of that movie. That sounds like something y- y'all would watch though. Yeah, he was also in Potheads the movie as Mr. D. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a movie you'd watch. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was in Heroes Slow Burn. That was a TV miniseries from 2009 as a character named Edgar. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. No, no. He. It was because it, it was a. It was a side Spin series. Off. Yeah. It had to be because then it said he was in nine episodes as Edgar in Heroes, but it doesn't say what season. Kind of so, makes me want to go back and watch it now. Yeah. So who would you cast him as in Digimon? Ray Park? Yeah, Ray Park. Well, he has to be somebody like... Somebody uh, badass. Like... Uh, oh, like... Uh, you going to make him Liamon? Oh, we're in Digimon Adventure? I don't care. Because, you know, there's the Shurimon from Season 2. Yeah. Who's like a ninja. Yeah. Like, True that. Yeah. Um... But we could always go crazy and just make him like TK. <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with casting everyone as TK? <laughs> everyone is TK, except for TK. <laughs> All right. Well, unless you guys want to like talk more about like 
Random stuff. Would you cast Sean Connery as TK? Uh, Sean Connery is um, Jedi. Jedi. Yeah. Okay. You have to bring somebody, you know, like with some clout. Obviously, Mr. You know, Miyagi that role. is Jedi. Mr. Miyagi has, uh, sadly, has passed away. What? So, wait. unless you want to like wait. hologram it, wait, like CG. Seriously? Yeah. Pretty sure I'd have to look oh, it up, man, but I'm pretty destroys sure destroys my. No, I was actually on Facebook a while back, and for some reason, everybody starts posting it around the same time of year, and they'll be like, "Rest in peace," and then all of a sudden, everybody will start posting like, "Holy crap! Oh, so and so, Mr. Miyagi died," and they're like, "Yeah, like 12 years." I actually ago. did. No, I actually fell for that myself because um, <laughs> somebody, like something I follow, said something about Joan Rivers, mm-hmm. um, like. It was like Joan Rivers passed away today or something, yeah. and I didn't read far enough. But it was like today, this uh, three years ago or something uh, like that, you know. And my, so uh, when I was scrolling through, I was like, "Wait, Joan Rivers died?" And I was literally about to say, "Hey, Erica, you know Joan Rivers died?" But luckily, I read a little <laughs> further on. I was like, "Okay, I just saved myself uh, from being." My, uh, I really, I feel really bad for for Dalton, you know, that I work with because he's a huge Godzilla fan. Oh, and, and the guy. Yeah. Well, okay, but like four months ago or so, there was a post going around that he died, and then like I told him, and then I looked it up and find out that it didn't happen, and then like just then like a happens. month ago, oh. like yeah, he actually did pass, and I was like, all right, man, I really did my research this time, and he actually <laughs> died this time. Sorry. Dang. <laughs> Somebody yeah. else is a, a. Who else is a big fan? Is it Sean? Is Sean? Of what? Godzilla. Eh. Who else am I thinking of? I don't know. Jerry, you're, you're come crazy. on. Dalton, is it you? For sure. I'm, I mean, I've I've seen basically every movie and Gamera, but I, I always like Gamera more. Just I love to Gamera. Just piss people off that love Godzilla. Like, hmm. yeah, Gamera. I don't remember. Who's your favorite giant monster? Uncomfortable silence. Um, Who is it? Tell I me. would have to go with the Matthew Broderick Godzilla. Good God! Did you ever Godzilla. see? Did you ever see Final Wars? Oh, because it brought they shit all over. Yeah, that that's one some bull crap. In Final Wars, that's some bull crap. And it was the greatest thing because they brought in. They had some forty one. The song. Because uh, I'm that? in too deep. No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, uh, take everything on my me. Uh. Was it uh oh my god, I can't remember the name of the song. Um What album taking was it? What on? we don't need. Got <laughs> it the land of the free And we're all to blame. I don't know. We've this. gone too far. Is this on the to shame but anyway that doesn't matter because okay. zilla showed up godzilla showed up they played that song godzilla knocked him into a building and then breathed fire on him and that was the entire fight they That's just destroyed it they were like That's this is what bull. we think of your Matthew Roderick godzilla so is yeah it from um all I, all I know is the video they start off by calling them the sums and then it's like one of those uh 60s or 70s shows or whatever with like the dancers the jazzer sized dancers Wait, or whatever is that still waiting yeah i think so yeah because that one they they come in they're sitting yeah with Will he's Sasso. talking tell him the sums yeah and he's yeah, like the, the is in right now yeah, yeah. you got <laughs> the strokes yeah. the yeah okay yeah. that one is uh it's like are you sure because that doesn't sound like the one it's like so am i still waiting for this no, one you're right. It's not that one. Holy crap. What was the video for that one? Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. We Anyways, need to end this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we are really trailing off here. All right. Well, thanks everybody who listened to at least some of the episodes. Yes, and that person that was probably shouting at us the entire end of it, telling us the name of that song, We, I got you. Yeah, bro. for I real, man. You. Let yeah, us know if, you. y'all, uh, so if y'all know it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so thanks guys for... for getting well, this, this is your thing. You end this, man. <laughs> thanks, thanks, peeps. For getting this far with us you've <laughs> probably long gone by now but uh we we really appreciate it and hope you have a very great time um you know for now this was talking nerdy about digimon i'm jerry 
James. I'm Brandon. And we are signing off. See Stay you tuned. later. Stay tuned for the My Hero Academia podcast coming soon from Talking Nerdy. And if I can convince these dude goobers to <laughs> do it with me. And stay classy. <laughs>